more I practice doing the things that great basketball players do, like running and passing and shooting and guarding, and in my case, maybe growing a few inches or so, <laughs> the more I do all that, the more likely it is that I'll turn into something near to a great basketball player. But i got to do it first. Or let's say I want to be a great cook. These are both a stretch for me. This is why I chose these illustrations, but uh, I want to be a great cook. So I'm going to sit around and I'm going to think some great thoughts about becoming a great cook. And I'm just sure that if I sit there long enough and I think enough about enough great thoughts about being a great cook, I'll start feeling like a great cook. And when that happens, I'll start cooking. And I'll be a great cook. I don't think that's going to work. Probably not very well. On the other hand, if I go and put my hands on some good cookbooks, and I go to the store and I buy some ingredients and I come back home and I start pulling some things off the cupboards and I get in the refrigerator and get some things out of there and, and I start cooking, even if it's not very good the first time, if I keep doing that, and I keep doing that, and I keep doing that, the more chance I stand, the better chance I have of becoming something near to a good cook. And the sooner I start acting like a Christian, the sooner I start doing and practicing the things that Christians do, the sooner I'm likely to start feeling like a Christian. And it's not always easy. I know it. I know it's not always easy. Waiting on God, oh my gosh. Waiting on Jesus is like waiting for Christmas in February. It's not easy. It can be frustrating, discouraging, and hard work. A lot harder than the 15 minutes you sit and wait at a wedding for the bridal party to, to appear. For the hour or so wait for the food and the fun and the festivities at the reception, it's harder than that. But the day will come when we're going to have to draw on the oil that we have, whatever it is. And the oil won't come from sitting and waiting for a spiritual twitch. It just won't. It'll come from taking the risk of believing God enough to light our lamps and light our lamps and light our lamps again and again and again, no matter how dark the darkness looks. That's what it will take. And the reward will be the reward. We don't always talk about it this way. But the reward will be that we see the bridegroom just as we hope for, just as we expect it. And the bridegroom has been waiting to celebrate with us, all of us, all of us together, which is, so far as I can tell, all that Jesus has ever really wanted to do in the first place. Both in this world, silence and prayer, I invite us to remember Phil and Suzanne Gates and their family and the passing of Phil's sister on October 31st. I invite us uh, to, in the quiet, soak in and soak up the presence and the love and the grace of God for you and for all of us and for the whole world to know that God hears our prayers, whether they be the silent prayers of our hearts or spoken prayers that come out of us in this moment. Let this be for you a moment to meet God in prayer. Let us go together to the throne of grace. Let us pray.
great and loving God, teach us to light our lamps, we pray. Teach us so to value our lives and our days that we waste no time here on earth. Teach us to savor each moment of life, to love the little things of life, and to delight in the richness of your good creation. Teach us, O oh God, to number our days, to admit to the fragile nature of life and the fleeting nature of all things, that we might learn to cherish what we've been given and to enjoy what we have while we have it. God, teach us to light our lamps. Teach us to prepare ourselves for life's dark valleys and difficult days that through prayer and study, reflection and action, we might be ready to greet any time as time with you, whether in the light or in the darkness. God, teach us to light our lamps. And help us to light our lamps for others, we pray. Guide us into the ways of service and peace, in our families, and our homes, and our neighborhoods, and our communities, in our social circles, and our schools, and our places of business and work, and even to the ends of the earth. God, bless those who are walking in darkness, we pray, and bless those who bring help into those dark places. Help us to light our lamps, for others. And hear us as we pray Jesus' prayer together, bearing our light even now, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for God. Amen. Invite Sandy Pinter to come at this time to share a ministry moment as we prepare to offer our gifts together.
Um, also, as Tom said earlier, we are continuing to sell some of our bizarre items. And first of all, I do want to thank all of you for all you've done and for uh, helping us. And we couldn't do it without you, of course. And so we hope that we still have some items downstairs and then also in Friendship Center. And so we hope you'll go out and uh, buy some more things. And also, you have the opportunity to be uh, to purchase four basketball tickets for the Illinois versus Brown basketball game, which will be uh, November the 24th. So what we do is there is a bid sheet here, so you can write down your name, what you would like to offer for those tickets, and then at 12:30, the last uh, name on that sheet will be the owner of those tickets. So. Um, Hope you will come out and do that. And again, thank you for all your support that you give to the United Methodist Women. And um, as you can see up there, this was last year. These are some of the local projects that we supported in 2014. Thank you. Because of you, mission is at motion at First Church. As forgiven and reconciled people, let us offer ourselves and our gifts to God. Thank you. 